nationwide app that will help make job searching more convenient for those ready to enter the workforce. WDHN's Robert Smith with the story. Brent Skipper, a smart tech developer, is the brains behind a new platform that would make the job searching and hiring process less time consuming for employers and potential employees. Resumes were getting outlandish. Job descriptions are pretty intense and uh, the data says very few people read those job descriptions. That's what made Skipper come up with an alternative way to battle the traditional way by creating Jobio, a virtual job app. The app is full of employers listing their job openings and the job seekers can personalize their search and upload a video resume on their profile. Hey Sterling here from Gavio Dev. That we have in our marketing team. I just wanted to tell you a bit more about what we're looking for. They get to meet the boss, the manager, the owner. Um, they get to see the truck that they're going to be driving, the forklift. They get to see the environment. Uh, they get to hear in a humanized and personalized way what the job's all about. The timing for the app is fortunate. Many people left or lost their jobs during the height of the pandemic, and business owners and workers were forced to learn new technology to conduct business. Skipper has been working on the idea for two years, even before the pandemic, and it finally came to fruition two weeks ago. The app is widely available on the Android and Apple Store. It's overdue. Like, they're surprised. Like, when I first told my wife about this idea, she thought surely there had to be something like this on the market. And I said, there's not. There's nothing out there. Reporting in Dothan, Robert Smith, WDHN News for The Wiregrad. With skyrocketing fuel prices and the highest inflation rates we've seen in some 40 years, many nonprofits in our area are seeing a decline in donations. So today, the Mitchell Automotive Group donated several hundred pounds of non-perishables to the Christian Mission Center in Enterprise. Center Director Reverend John Belcher says hunger is not just something that happens during the holidays. It's 365 days in the wiregrass. Over recent weeks, the shell in that Christian mission pantry have become